Hello, my name is Benjamin Hart. I'm an American attorney and the managing director of Integrity Legal here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the title of this video suggests, we're discussing the RFE or the request for evidence. I do get some questions from folks. They actually asked me what one of these looks like. I'm not gonna put a whole one of these up, but I'm just gonna go ahead and show the first page of one of these. And we've redacted it so that it doesn't disclose any confidential information. The, as you can see, this is a fairly recently issued one. Unfortunately, RFEs are getting issued with a lot higher degree of regularity than they once did. It, the frequency on these is, is kind of profound, frankly, and, and rather disconcerting. But it does note the response time. You have a certain amount of time. You have a sort of a deadline with respect to when you need to respond to a request for evidence. It notes the petition type. And then it will go on to note specifically where they believe there are deficiencies and what documentation that they feel will be necessary in order to meet or overcome those deficiencies in order to go ahead and ultimately receive an approval. In, in many ways, an RFE can be very helpful. It, it's sort of a roadmap of exactly what they want to see to get the thing done. Now, obviously, we generally try to submit cases where we're not going to get one of these. Unfortunately, the last roughly three years especially, especially the last two, we just seen a slew of RFEs in cases that we never saw our RFEs in. And over things that, I mean, frankly, I would argue in certain cases, they're, they're not even legitimate. I shouldn't say legitimate, but I, I, I've never seen them before. And frankly, I, I don't, yeah, legitimate's the right word. They, they, they just have made, at least in a couple of the RFEs that I've seen, they've made some really, in my opinion, I hesitate to call it frivolous, but rather frivolous um, requests. And it's like, clarification of what? That, that's sort of my big issue is, is, okay, if you're missing a document like a certified translation or you're missing, which does happen, and sometimes they lose stuff from time to time too, but the, if, if you're missing something that's really dispositive or a strong piece of evidence, okay, but where you send in a ton of photos and they say they want to see more evidence of relationship, well, how much is enough is oftentimes the question. So, Long story short, yes, RFEs do happen. That's what they look like. Again, we'll throw that up there so people can kind of get an idea. That's sort of the covering page. And then you'll have sort of a list of things that they want to see thereafter. And yeah, you just have to deal with them when they come up and, and you know, just keep processing things through.